Kia ora guys, welcome back to 4 Live where I am joined by Tim Bear. Hello. Hello, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, it is a pleasure to be here. I'm what so a wonderful... glad you said that. Look at the surrounds. I You've know. Got a big picture of me over well, there. Well yeah, look at the surrounds, who's this guy? That's um... I, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that photo, to what? be honest. Really? But that, isn't that like your comedy yeah. festival, New Zealand International they Comedy Festival me. picture? Really? There, there, was, there was like three photos that we whittled it down to and they were like, you should use that one because it looks like you're, you're doing something, you're about to get up and do something. But I love it how you're blaming somebody else because you still sent that photo in, right? Oh, nothing is my fault. Let's, <laughs> let's start there. Nothing right, in life is my fault. Number one thing you should know about Tim, that <laughs> not his fault. Um, another really important thing to know is that you are one of the Billy T nominees this yes. year. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, how how are you feeling about the rest of your pool of competition at the Mate, moment? Feeling good. It's all, it's all. We're all mates, which yeah. is lovely. We're all, uh, we're all good mates, um, particularly me and Guy Montgomery, we like we do a podcast together, and me and Jermaine, we do some radio stuff together. And Steve and I just respect immensely. And Brendan Green, he's okay. Uh, I'm just kidding. Everyone uh, loves Brendan. Only Green, like know. the nicest human in the world, and a very good-looking man to boot, oh, right? Because he used to be good-looking, and then now he's growing the beard that's coming through. Whew. I'm glad. Mothers I'm glad you've got daughters. a lot of nice things to say about Brendan Green's face, because that's going to come into play very soon. I don't oh. want to give. I don't want to give too much away. Okay. Um, but I do also want to talk a little bit about your podcast with Guy Montgomery. <laughs> yes. I have just been listening to a little bit of this, oh, and great. this is. Amazing. Can you explain what it is? Sure. So the name of the podcast is The Worst Idea of All Time. Mm. And what we do is we watch a movie every week and review it. But here's the catch. The movie never changes. <laughs> so we're just watching the one movie 52 times in a row. So for one year. And we just keep picking bits and reviewing it and getting crazier as it goes on. And the movie that we picked for this podcast is Grown Ups 2, yeah. which stars uh, Adam Sandler, Chris Rock's in it, Kevin James, some very intensely funny people. But the movie is not great. So, like, break it, like, do you know what the Rotten Tomatoes rating on this thing 7%. is? 7%. 7%? 7. So single digits on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. And it was nominated, uh, uh, if you know what the Razzies are, they're like the opposite, opposite of, the, of Oscars. the Oscars. They celebrate the worst movies and the worst bits in movies. Mm. It got nominated for, I think, nine Razzies this year. Wow. Yeah. That's an impressive haul in it's, opposite land. It's a terrible, it's like a celebratedly terrible movie. Yeah. And we have to watch it once a week, every week. And then you tune in and listen to our podcast, The Worst Idea of All Time, and you just hear us get crazier each week as we just keep having to watch this terrible film. It's super great. Um, you guys should definitely have a look for it because like, the two of you together is, is, is a wonderful thing. But I also <laughs> want to talk about like your show. Um, it's called Tim Bat Saves Planet Earth. Yes. My big question is, are you just picking up where Captain Planet left off here or like what's the... Essentially, yeah. Are you? In a, in a, in a way. This is a sequel to last year's comedy festival show I did. Last sure. year was called uh, Tim Bat's Unified Theory. Uh -huh. And I'll give you the very short version. Okay, I'll good. give you the ending. All right. Basically, it all boils down to the fact that no one really knows what the hell they're doing. Uh-huh. Like, especially in the adult grown-up world. Oh, yes. You get tricked when you're a kid and when you're a teenager and everyone's like, what do you want to be when you grow up and what are you going to train and what job do you want to do? But it turns out no one really knows. Oh, no! And everyone's faking it. I'm oh, sorry to spoil the secret, but you know it. what I'm talking about. No, what do you mean? I haven't grown up yet. I'm no, but right. none of us have. That's kind of the secret. Like, no one really... It doesn't... There's not some point that you get to where it's like, oh, I know what I'm doing. No one has any idea. Okay, well, after breaking our hearts like that, Tim Bear, I'm afraid I'm going to have to get back <laughs> into the countdown. Um, we've got to look at number four, but we'll talk more about your show. Number four. Um, 24. Um, 24. And, and we'll talk more about Brendan Green's face. We'll see you in a bit.